Sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit too optimistic when it comes to certain things. One of the things that I feel like I'm too optimistic about is whether or not a certain creator is going to get their time in the spotlight and it's just going to disappear after like five minutes of them being popular. That's what I thought was going to happen with Jack Doherty when I made my video on him nine months or so ago back in literally the end of 2023. And I just thought that the internet was just going to use him as a punching bag. People were going to ignore him and not going to give him the time of day because there's really nothing more to say about him other than that he's just a young kid who doesn't know what he's doing and just acts like this internet tough guy but really he's just the biggest fucking bitch in the world there's there's no substance to his content there's literally nothing there's literally nothing worth watching on his youtube channel or his live streams he's been around for a little while i think before he got super popular but that's about it right he's just a young kid who got his big break moment on on live streaming content and that's pretty much it. And <laughs> I, I didn't expect anything more, but people continued to keep fucking talking about him. He got into a couple of controversies. I think there was like one moment where he had like this live stream moment, live stream clip with some, I think it was the, the Mike Zerka guy who I talked about previously in an entirely different video. And I think he had something to do with like that guy as well. But a whole bunch of controversies happened. I just never really felt like I needed to make another video about him because what is there really else to say about him other than that he's just a young, stupid kid that guy has moment in the spotlight and now he's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that he stays within the spotlight even if it makes him look like an absolute fucking moron and no moment has ever made him look like an absolute moron than what just happened i'm gonna be posting this tomorrow as of me recording this but i'm, I'm recording this as of right now when it just happened and it's the fact that the motherfucker got into a goddamn car accident and he and his buddy who was recording on the camera they almost died. I'm not gonna show the full thing because I kind of feel like YouTube is gonna want to take down the video if I show the full clip. So if you want to go see it, obviously go check it out on Twitter or X. He's driving on the road. It's pouring out and he's just in the McLaren and he's not really paying attention to the road because he's looking at his phone. The whole time he's just looking up and down from his phone to the road and then he steps on the gas freaks out because obviously you know when you're in the rain the traction is going to be as smooth as it is normally he freaks the fuck out and then he gets into a wreck and you can see in the video that his friend is literally bleeding profusely from the head so he probably has a concussion he has a huge fucking cut on his forehead and the entire time he's just worrying about his car and then giving his friend the camera so that way he can record the content that's currently going on so like this is just absolutely fucking insane this is gonna seem a little bit out of nowhere but this kind of reminds me of an episode that would happen in like malcolm in the middle where like the brothers would like take a super fancy like sports car out get into an accident and then like, like this just comes off like as an episode of malcolm in the middle for some reason i've been kind of watching some episodes recently but that's the point just like this is absolutely fucking insane that this absolute moron just like doesn't even pay attention to his friend right his, his friend could have legitimately died he actually looks like he's completely fine if you watch the clips and if you look at him he looks like he's completely fine physically but the car is total completely total terrible fucking paint job by the way it looks like like a what a three-year-old would do when they're in art class it just looks like just splashed a bunch of paint on it and said yep that's my paint job that's what i want uh and then just he's mostly focused on just trying to make sure that the camera is right in front of him he's gonna he's gonna pose for a thumbnail for whenever he posts posts this on youtube like oh i got into a car accident and it just i mean i'm glad that the both of them are okay i don't want either of them to lose their lives obviously but just the absolute idiocy that was displayed in just this short a minute and a half video of him just not doing the due diligence like like the insurance claim on this is gonna fucking be insane if i were the friend i would absolutely sue the shit out of him for not paying attention to the road properly and then getting them into a fucking accident and then no surprise i, I mean maybe a little bit of a surprise because it's kick but kick actually banned him for endangering a life while driving on stream so good on kick for banning him and just holy shit i'm not just i couldn't believe that this happened, just the the, the non-self-awareness of the situation that he was in, the unintensiveness of him actually driving on the road when it's storming like the way that it is, paying attention more to his phone, possibly reading chat for whatever fucking reason. Insane. Insane clip. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Jack, Jack Doherty, uh, I really hope that this is the end for him and that he's not going to have any more of a YouTube content creation career. I hope that his live streams don't do well anymore. I hope that this means that people are going to stop watching Jack because he doesn't deserve it, right? He doesn't deserve the platform that he's on because uh, obviously he's not hes not against putting people's lives at stake if it means putting content. He just has no self-awareness, no, no soul. I think I actually just watched Charlie's video before watching this, but... He's such a, he's just such a soulless guy, no empathy at all. 
nothing. Just, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it though. I want to go ahead and give a channel shout out to Pedro360 for being a member on the channel. I would really appreciate it if you guys consider joining the memberships. It would mean the world to me. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let's